every Tuesday at 12 noon, live on YouTube at GSS Miracle Tuesday Intercessory Prayer. Go Know, a city and community project for New Orleans East. Earn as you clean for males ages 16 and older. For more info, go to keepnolaclean.com. Sponsored by D.B. Morton Ministries. D.B. Morton Ministries and Greater Women of Excellence will be traveling to Dubai August 5th through the 12th, 2024. Travel with us and invite family and friends on this amazing adventure. For travel information, see a representative in the front lobby or log on to houseofgreater.org forward slash GSS now. Live Full Conference next is now. 2024 Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International Conference in the Big Easy, New Orleans, Louisiana, July 9th through the 11th. Join presiding Bishop Joseph W. and Dr. Stephanie Walker III and founder and co-founder Bishop Paul S. and Deborah B. Morton, along with Bishop Jonathan Woods Sr., Elder Jasmine M. Robinson, Bishop William Murphy III, Dr. Linda Willis, Bishop Bobby L. McCarter Sr., Pastor John Hanna, Consecration Service with Founder Bishop Paul S. Morton, and our Worship Encounter with International Presiding Bishop Joseph W. Walker III at the New Orleans Convention Center. Visit fullgospelconference.org today. Have you moved? telephone number changed. We'll update your contact information today at houseofgreater.org forward slash GSS now. Quick links. And we are praying for members who have lost loved ones or who are experiencing an illness. For funeral updates and a list of members who are sick and shut in, call the church or refer to the bulletin on the GSS website. For pertinent info and updates regarding our ministry, text GSS to 504-276-7021 or log on to houseofgreater.org forward slash GSS now. Put your hands together, people of God, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning and welcome to the house of the Lord. We are so glad you made it to the greater house. And to our virtual viewers, we are so delighted that you have tuned in to the greater worship experience. Please tag a friend and invite them to worship with us. Scripture reading will be coming from Psalms 24, verses 7 through 9. And it reads, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. And the word of the Lord is blessed. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, let us pray, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus. We have come, oh God, to lift up your name. We've come to lift up holy hands, oh God. We've come, oh God, with our hearts lifted up unto you, saying, Lord, we need you today, oh God. We've come with holy hands, oh God, in this sanctuary. We come to praise you, to honor you, to worship you. We've come to give you glory in this place, oh God. We've come, oh God, with adoration and praise on our lips, oh God. Now, Lord, bless the man or woman of God, oh God, that will bring forth the divine word and with clarity and conviction, oh God, that our lives will be changed, burdens will be lifted, and our souls will be saved, oh God. Anoint the choir, the end the musicians, oh God, that they will deliver songs of Zion to this place. We give you glory, oh God, for you alone are worthy. And now let us receive our praise ministry in Jesus' name. God is good, isn't he? God is good, isn't he? Hallelujah. The hip of the month is what a fellowship. What a joy be mine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a fellowship.
to say, I just really want to tell you I need you. I need uh-huh. you wanna tell Everybody you. clap your hands. Say, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's tell the Lord this. And you are my joy. And you are my peace. You are my strength. Song. 
I want to make sure you ain't looking at somebody you came with and telling them it's all about you. I don't want you pointing to anybody in here, but I want you just to point up towards heaven and say it's all about you. Come on, it's all about you. Close your eyes and see God looking down. I just want to love. I want to love and worship you. How many know we didn't come here for games? I want to please your heart. I just want to Listen, I don't know how real he is to you. But when I look back over my life, I wish you'd turn around and just look back. Just, just a figment of, come on, just look back. When I heard Athena say this, she said, jump in. I thought about how far the Lord had brought me from. Some people are privileged and they didn't need the Lord but I needed him. Yeah. Where are you? I needed him. Some of the things that he brought me through mentally, physically, I needed him. And so when she began to sing it with the worship team, tears began to stream down my face. There were tears of gratitude that I'm still here. When so many have gone on, I'm still here. And why are we here? to give him glory and praise is not to show what we have on and how we look but we came in here to make sure that he all comes down you. and sit right among all us and you. hear our praise come on all let's sing it to you. him again come on hey. come on get out of here touch the fight of somebody say it was the Lord on my side and take your seats hallelujah Woo. glory to God my God my God my God my God somebody's getting healed right now somebody's getting delivered right now because you gave them the glory Clap your hands and celebrate the mighty Jesus, the mighty God we serve. I am so grateful to God for what he is doing in the greater house. And it is go time. Some fire up in here. Yes, somebody got some fire to tell somebody. Yes, yes, and we are taking this message. Woo. This message of love everywhere we go. I don't care how much hate they spill out. You tell them it's all about him. It's all about Jesus. And we honor 
today in their absence, our senior pastor, Bishop-elect T. Delbert Robinson, and First Lady Robinson, and Elder Jasmine. We thank God for them and the fantastic job that they are doing. And we just are glad to be in the, in the, in the presence, amen, and in our right minds. Come on, somebody, that we can enjoy what the Lord is doing. And so on that note, we have a special welcome for those of you who have come. We want our pastor to come, Pastor Carolyn Williams, and come and welcome. I'm, I'm sorry, I said Williams, Matthews, amen. Would you come now and welcome our guest? Better not be bearing no William soon. I hope that won the prophecy. <laughs> no, I'm a prophet. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Bishop, and thank you, Pastor D. This is the time that we've set aside where we get to welcome our special guests. If you are worshiping with us online for the very first time, we ask that you would place FTV for first time visitors in the comment. And if you are in house, in-house and this is your very first time worshiping with us we ask that you would stand at this time all first time visitors show them some love greater this is the house of our pastor, Bishop-elect T. Delbert Robertson, our first lady, Elder Jasmine, and our overseers, Bishop Paul S. and Dr. Deborah B. Morton. We are truly blessed to have you worshiping with us today. You may be seated. Amen. As a thank you, we want to bless each of you with a downloadable prayer journal um, that you can begin using immediately virtually and in-house if you would just take out your phones and you would scan the QR code for your special get for your special gift from GSS if you would take out your phone at this time and scan the QR code amen one more time greater let's thank God for our first time visitors amen hallelujah and now for our announcements just a few for your hearing Join us every Tuesday at noon for Virtual Miracle Tuesday live on GSS YouTube. And you can join us each Wednesday morning at 6.30 a.m. for the Greater Army Prayer Line as we step. That is shifting towards everybody praying. You can call 504-383-0995. Join us in-house and virtually for Word Explosion every Wednesday at 7 p.m., beginning with Iron Sharpens Iron at 6.45 p.m. It's athletic gear or greater sound t-shirt, workout attire, or on Sunday, April 21st, come and experience church fit during praise and worship. Be ready to move. We are certainly praying for Sister Jack, Vicki Jordan, who is a member in the passing of her father, Brother George Marshall, non-member, passed on Friday, April 5th. The funeral services will be held on Friday, April the 26th at United Fellowship Full Gospel Baptist Church, located at 2401 at Net Street. That is New Orleans, Louisiana, 70119. The visitation will begin at 10 a.m. and the service will start at 11 a.m. Let us keep Sister Vicki Jordan and her family in our prayers. We are also praying for Sister Hazel Serena, who is a member of our choir. Elder Jackie Gordon, one of our elders, in the passing hurt of Sister Serena's son and Elder Gordon's brother. Brother Joseph Stewart, who is a non-member, who passed on Thursday, April 11. Funeral arrangements are incomplete at this time. Let us keep Sister Hazel Serena and Elder Jackie Gordon in, and their entire family in our prayers. We are praying for Minister Rose Frazier in the passing of her brother, Brother Troy Harris, who is a non-member, 
who passed on Thursday, April 11th. Funeral arrangements are incomplete at this time. Let us keep Minister Rose Frazier and her family in our prayers. For more information on these and other announcements, please visit houseofgreater.org forward slash GSS now. And now let us receive our overseers. Praise the Lord. Let's thank God for Pastor Carolyn. Matthew's doing yes. a great, great, great job. Great, thank great you so job. Of course, we are excited, as she said, that it is it's go time. It's Amen. Go time. And what is that? We are setting this month aside for all of, of us to be intentional about winning souls for Christ. And they're calling you go-getters. Where are the go-getters at? Wave your hand. If, you, if you're telling people about the Lord, wave your hand. If you're not, jump in. This is why he saved us to get someone else saved and bringing them into the kingdom. Amen. How many know it's better on this side? We, we know about the other side. It's better on the Lord's side. So be a go-getter and get someone and tell them to tap in. This is what they want us to tell them, to tap into what God is doing. Many people live their lives, but they don't tap in to what God is doing. They let their circumstances, amen, uh, uh, take over. But how many know if you tap into God, you can beat your circumstances? And we just need to see, we just need to see anybody who brought somebody. We don't want it just to be talk, bring somebody. We actually want to see, are we really working this? It's the go-getters. Because this is greater. Yes, yes, yes. The greater go-getters. <laughs> So if you brought somebody today with you during our corporate soul winning month, would you stand so that we can thank God for you? Anybody who brought somebody? Anybody? Anybody? Ooh, Ooh, yes. Amen, amen, Yay. amen. And listen, our deacons have cards for you. We want you to remain standing uh, so that they can give you a card and fill it out. And of course, they're going to correspond with you. You'll get the credit, amen, for being a go-getter. And God is watching more than the card, amen? The Lord wants us all to win a soul. And you know, if everybody would take this seriously, do you know what? If everybody would bring somebody, do you know we'd have to really get uh, prepared for a second service? Amen. amen. That'd be awesome. It's all about doing what we need to do. So some of y'all say, I ain't going to work now. I've got to do too. No. <laughs> but I'm telling Don't you, God you. wants us to do our part. Don't want to scare uh, yes, you. Yes, <laughs> yes. I was witness talking to a mother yesterday about something, and the daughter came up, and the mother wasn't ready, but the daughter was. I said, I'm picking you up to bring you to church next week. She said, well, I can't go this week. I'm looking, listen, little girl. <laughs> I'm picking you up. You were 12 years old. Don't tell me when you're ready. Amen. But I know them. Amen. And she is coming to church. And when I left them, I didn't, haven't known her long. She hugged me and said, I'll be there. Pick me up. And so you just have to make, you know, yes, just have to say something. It. Amen. And I think this deserves special attention, don't you? Oh, special yes. Attention. They came to church. And yes. They came from a long way. They came from a long way. They could be doing anything. Anything. France is in the house. France is in the house. Germany is in the house. Woo! Bonjour. Would you stand so we can clap? Thank God welcome, for you welcome, one more time. Welcome. Yes, yes. Isn't that wonderful? We beautiful. appreciate you. I say vous. <laughs> I forgot how to say stand, but I know how to say <laughs> sit down because the teacher told me that a lot. Sit down, Brown. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for sharing with us and uh, be blessed on today. Uh, of course, as we're continuing, amen, uh, to um, move in uh, our final announcements, we do want to congratulate one of our very own. She's faithful. She's a worker. She heads up prayer for Noonday Prayer, Elder Marilyn Bellock, who ran unopposed and won the at-large position for the Democratic Party of Elder elected Bellock. officials. Stand up, woman yes, of God. Yes, 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 yes. You're looking beautiful. Isn't that awesome? And one of our great voices on the prayer line every Wednesday. Yes, we helping with that as well. That's right. Was it St. James or St. John? St. Charles Parish. Amen. And uh, we have one of our own. She also won. I just need to get that information. We thank God for her as well. Yeah, wait till you get it and you can yeah, talk well, about I just, it. Yeah. I went blank. <laughs> Amen. But I don't want to say the wrong office. Right, but yes. she ran as, you know who I'm talking about. What is it? 
Rochelle Harris. Yes. She, she won as well. At large. Come on. For her parish. Come on. Y'all better clap your hands for the greater folk. Marketplace. 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 We got to get in the midst of that politics and make sure that it's done right. Amen. So we thank God for you. Of course, all new members now, two years or less, who have not attended a new member's orientation, you got to jump in so they can get you acclimated to the ministry. Please sign up for the upcoming orientation. It'll be Saturday, April the 20th at 10 a.m., and you can sign up, I believe, in Morton Hall. And, of course, you can sign up by emailing as well new members at gssmen dot org and submitting your name your phone number and your email address if you sign up by april the 14th your name will go into a drawing for a cash prize we want to bless our new members you must be in attendance to claim your prize and it and could i just add to that because it's very very important for new members to get involved you're a part of a family now and that becomes so important when you realize that you're part of a family. My wife will tell you, everybody in our family, when my children were growing up, they had to do something. You're going to wash a dish or you're going to take out a garbage can. If you stand up in this house, you're going to do something. You ain't no queen and king because you're part of the family. So we really want you to be involved and new members. There's so many gifts that you have inside of you. I go to different cities and they ask me about certain people. And, uh, you know, I try to smile, but, you, ooh, they was a great worker when they was here, but they're like, they, they ain't doing nothing here. Uh, so we, wa we want you to be involved because you are very, very, very important to us. And while I'm talking, while I'm talking, save the date. Look at somebody, tell them to save the date. At 70, it's her runway, y'all. Turning 70 years old, and yes. we are going to celebrate on a yacht with Pastor D for her 70th birthday. And we're celebrating June the 6th and the 7th in Miami, Florida. All you have to do is scan the QR code. It's right up there for you. We really want you to be a part of this. She's been working hard. In fact, she's already on the runway because she's making plans and, and things that have to be done for June. Uh, so uh, she's on the runway, got me on the runway. Uh, but the <laughs> But Trying to make sure they have a great time. The take off. Oh, yes, yeah, that's yes, the way you yes. are. And you've always been that yes, way. Yes, I like love people. Excellence. And I appreciate those of you who already uh, uh, signed up to be a part. But, of course, my birthday is not until the 19th because I'm a Juneteenth baby. Yes. I was born to be free yes. and fight for freedom. Come on, somebody. Yes, I fight for freedom. And what I want to say about that is I moved it to an earlier date because of what's happening in July, Bishop-elect, come on, is going to become a bishop. So I moved my celebration back so I would not get in the way of that because I'm very excited and proud of our pastor. Amen. And we but listen, you I being so unselfish in that area. Oh, and, yeah. And, uh, I'm really mature, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes you can be selfish. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. You know where you're standing. No, I'm not selfish. <laughs> In the pulpit. Uh, how many know I'm not selfish? Wave your hand if you're sure. Amen. <laughs> you didn't jump to the other side. <laughs> oh, you didn't wave your hand? No, no I'm oh. saying every now and then. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. It's a mixture. All right. I'm human. All I'm right. only human. But the registration is important. And listen, listen, Grady, this is so important. We really want every member in this ministry registered for our full gospel conference listen hotel is high people are coming from all over the world they got to pay hotel they got to get planes trains all of those things all we have to do is pay registration yes it has gone up i do know over 30 years ago registration was 20 dollars but that was over 30 was years 10. ago. And so it becomes it important. Yeah, 10, 10, yes, indeed. And so, oh, they like that 10, but I'm telling you, when, when, when after they registered with the 10, 
we, we, we was a hundred and hundreds of thousand dollars in the hole. Uh, so we don't want to do that anymore. We're taking on our responsibility because we are blessed during the full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship yes. Conference. One of the Such greatest conferences in the world. We thank you for starting and let's thank God for Bishop for following the vision of the Lord. So now registration will increase May the 1st. So we want to get it in. We appreciate you. Y'all are such hard workers. And I want to commend those who were at the training yesterday, our, our district training. Clap your hands. They came out, amen, to learn how to uh, move about in the conference. Some of you have done it so many years. New people are signing up. We need everybody involved. It, 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 that's our runway. How, how many know we are the mother church? So that's our runway. That's how we walk. Full gospel changed our lives. Did it change anybody's life? I'm telling you, I was a Baptist girl, but I got filled with the Holy Spirit, and I've never been the same. Amen? So let's appreciate it and, and support Bishop Walker and, of course, our very own bishop. Elect Bishop, I'm going you. to sit down because it's offering time, and yes. you're going to handle that, and I'll be back up to preach yes, shortly. Sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. God bless you. We're going to prepare now to bring our tithes and offerings to the Lord. If you've been blessed, you ought to start shouting in here. You ought to start shouting and say, I've been blessed. Yes, yes. I've been you blessed even when you don't have because God still makes a way. Am I right about it? Some people don't know that, but you put it in the pot. My granny said you can't get nothing out if you don't put nothing in. And the Lord doesn't really need our money. It is a, a, a natural thing that we have to pay bills and all. You know, God could open up the windows, but he said, no, I got people I die for. Yes. And I'm asking them to support the vision. Amen. Yes. And so we are going to do that. And we do that. And I commend you, tithers and givers, how you support the ministry continuously. But let's continue to do that and be blessed. I know that God promised it, and at this age, I can say he kept all his promises. How many know there's a God? Let's come on, begin to worship. How many know he's a God that keeps his promises? And how many know that it's not always money? I, I need a worship right here. Because God has brought me through some things things that money couldn't buy am I right about I saw you point at me I had a nodule on my uh, thyroid God gave them what they needed to do to get it off but to test it to see if it was cancerous but when they went in it was not that wasn't a doctor that was my God where are you I just I see you choir. Tell your neighbor, say, some stuff money couldn't buy. Education couldn't do it. It was the power and the grace and the love of God. Can we come on, worship you, oh God. Oh God, I feel it. That's why I give, that's why I support what Christ died for, which is the church. So let us give our tithes and our offerings to the Lord. Don't forget your covenant partner, commitment to full gospel, $10 per month. It's a seed that you sow to keep it going because the conference is one thing, but there is day to day. So we appreciate you, $10 per month, any increments during the month you can give. But we have several ways that we honor the Lord with our giving. We can go to uh, the House of Greater, our website, it's a secure website. We can text it. We can text to give 504-517-8071. We can go to the platform GiveLify, which is created for the church, and look for Greater St. Stephen Full Gospel Baptist Church, even in here and online. Cash app, dollar sign GSS Men. And then finally, Zell another platform where you can uh, go to giving at gssmen.org and all of these please put your name your full name and not your sexy name amen your full name 
not who you want to be, but who you are, your full name, <laughs> and the category in which you are giving. Uh, and I said, finally, for the platform. But then you can also still mail in. We have seniors out. We have sick that are out. And believe it, some that are sick or, or, or under the weather, they still mail their tithes and their offerings. It's P.O. Box 872-798. New Orleans, Louisiana, 70187. We got some good people, amen. Our seniors hold up our arms, and we appreciate you so much. And, of course, it goes for the work of the ministry, TV, radio, uh, staff, the outreach, all the things that we're doing. We just appreciate what God is doing. I do want to say that as you gave to the gala, as you came to the gala, now we have money, amen, to give to the poor. We have put that money there. We have money for the Paul S. Morton Scholarship Foundation. So you are doing a great work, and the Lord is watching you. As our deacons have already served you, let's bow our heads in prayer. I'm going to ask as we bow in, would, you, uh, would our tithers please stand? Please stand, tithers, as we pray. We thank God. Clap your hands for tithers who are making a sacrifice to the Lord to give and their We 10%. do make it plain. These are tithers for today because some people say, I'm a tither, uh, but I'm sitting down and we know it's not your day to tithe. So I'm always sensitive to that. So this oh. is the tithers for today. Uh, you are tithing today, but we know that many of you that are sitting down, it's not your week of income, so you tithe when you tithe. So, though, uh, you can't tithe this day and it ain't my day to tithe. Oh, wow. I understand. I got your back. I got your back. Amen, Bishop. Amen. Tithers who are tithing today, everyone bow your heads now. Father, how we thank and praise you. Father, for the tithers that are coming, God, bless them, Lord. Your blessing is already there. Let them walk in it. We thank you for them. And then for those who are giving today, some are tithers, some are giving a, a seed offerings to support the ministry, Lord. Bless them, God. Go into their situation and do what you do. Bless them in a mighty way. We'll give you the glory and we'll give you the praise, both in-house and online givers. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen, and thank God. Our tithers are now coming, laying, laying, laying their tithe at the altar. The rest of you left your envelopes now. Lift your envelopes and just, or your phones or what have you, and just wave them and say, Lord, this is not a debt. It's a seed. I'm sowing it, and I believe you can grow it. Because of this seed, the quality of my life will be made better i don't need another chance to mess up doing the same thing this seed this seed is my better chance come on and praise the lord somebody shout glory to god our deacons will serve you now hallelujah oh god Lift your hand as you, after you give and come on and say, We sing praises to your name. We sing praises to your name. We sing praises to your name. Surely he's worthy. Praises to your name. You are. Take it up a little higher. Come on and lift those hands and say, Sing and pray. We lift our hands in praise today. We lift our hands in praise. We lift our hands in praise. You are. 
y'all don't know. Bring it down a moment. Some of y'all don't know, Pastor D wrote that song several years ago, and it's still powerful. So let's just sing it one more time, Pastor D. Sing it one we more time. sing praises to somebody give them glory. Come on, the glory of the Lord is in this place. We sing. We sing praises. Praises to your Beginning and the end, Savior, Lord and Master. Come on, if you know him, say, that's what I call him. today. Come on and lift your hands all over the sanctuary and just begin to worship him in your own way.
just look at somebody and tell them, I really do. I really do. I'm, I'm not playing about this. I really love him. I 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 love you. 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 I'm so in love. for greater change, greater sound, greater sound, greater sound. Well done, well done, well done, well done. While you're standing, would you lift your Bible, your iPad, your smartphone? If you don't have any of those, just place your hand over your heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And repeat after me, if you will, if I receive this word this kingdom constitution with my mind only this word will be dead for me this word will not help me but if i receive this word this kingdom constitution with the spirit over my mind over my emotions over my fleshly desires this word will be life for me lord I don't need religious form and fashion. I need life. Why don't you look at somebody, tell them receive life. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Jesus says, come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Today, I want to go to the gospel according to Luke, the 16th chapter, and I'm going to focus in on verses 19 through 22 from the New Living Translation. And this is what the Word of God says. Jesus said. Now, right there, that ought to catch your attention. If you're doing something else, if you're doing something else on your cell phone, whatever. The moment I said, and Jesus said. And this is what he said. There was a rich man, a certain rich man who was splendidly clothed in purple and fine linen and who lived each day in luxury. Now, verse 20 says, at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus who was covered with sores. Verse 21 says, as Lazarus laid there longing for scraps, just give me some of the crumbs from your table, rich man. Scraps from the rich man's table. Look how sick this poor man was. The dogs would come and lick his open sores. But verse 22 says, finally, the poor man died and was carried by the angels to sit beside Abraham at the heavenly banquet. God flipped the script. And the rich man also died and was buried. So today, I want to talk in this soul-winning month, and I want us to focus in on it. My subject is, let's go get them before it's too late. Look at somebody and say, let's go get them before it's too late. Thank you, ushers. You may be seated. And I realize, and there are people who listen to us all over the world, and we have people here from France today, and people here from Germany today, and I know this is not normally the way we would talk. I would not just say, let's go get them. <laughs> but, but today, I, I, I realize 
that a standard version of this same sentence would read, let us go get them. But the Holy Spirit gave it to me this way. Let's go get them. So, so I went to the Britannica Dictionary to find out was it any place in there because there was a good possibility we may have people from France and we may have people here from Germany and I just, I just want to make sure that I'm kind of talking with some, some sense. <laughs> and so when I went to the dictionary, the definition of M, go get, go get them, E, M, instead of them, the dictionary says it is used to represent an informal pronunciation of them. So today, I don't want to be formal. Today, I don't want to be cute. I want to tell it like it is. Go get them before it's too late. I know I could say, go get them before it's too late. No, I, I, go get them before it's too late. Now, Jesus speaks to us here in this parable, and this parable is important because he has contrasted two men. One is regarded as the one who has, and the other as one of the have-nots. You see... Dives, Jesus talks about Dives, not only stands for money, not only stands for riches, but Dives stands for every kind of strength, every kind of privilege, every kind of capacity, every kind of opportunity. While Lazarus stands not merely for want of money or in need of it, but Lazarus stands for weakness, incapacity. In other words, Lazarus is saying, I don't have what it takes to survive. Disadvantage, I'm not as privileged as you are. Want of opportunity if just somebody would open up a door that I could walk through that door so that I could live better than what I am living now. So whatever the need is, those are those who are in trouble, those who have a need. Go get them before it's too late. You see, people of God, in case you don't know it, I want you to recognize today, we are the ones, if you know Jesus Christ, who are rich. Now, if you don't know that, oh, I didn't know that, well, maybe you need to meet Jesus. Because those who know Jesus Christ are rich. Because when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you have invested in Jesus stock. It's the best thing happening in the stock market. If you want good stock, invest in Jesus' stock because 
there's riches in this stock. There's, there's, there's richness when you know Jesus Christ. You are rich in the power of God. Tell somebody I'm rich. In the power of God. How do you know that you're rich in the power of God when you know him? Because you shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Don't, don't, don't mess with me. I'm rich in power. Don't, don't let me start praying on you. I am rich in power because I got Jesus stuff. Not only, not only am I rich in power, but I am rich in faith. Somebody say rich in faith. faith. How do you know that you're rich in faith? Because whatever, whatever I say to the mountain and believe it in my heart, that, that, that mountain has to get out of my way. See, that's why I don't let my faith waver. I don't care how dark it looks or how bad it looks. I don't waver in my faith because if I waver in my faith, I get nothing. But if I just hold on and keep the faith, some way, somehow, God will turn that situation around. Uh, why don't you just tap somebody, tell them, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. Oh, God, I, I, I'm rich in power. I'm rich in faith. But not only that, I'm rich in truth. Some folk, you ain't going to call no names, are rich in lies. But I am rich in truth. And this is what the Bible says, so that you know that you're rich in truth. If you know the truth. The truth will set you free. Oh, I'm rich and I'm free. I'm rich and I'm free. I'm rich and I'm free. There's nothing like being free. So that's why, people of God, as we, as we look at this today, we have to realize who we are. So because we're rich, there is a Mr. Lazarus at your gate. There's a Mrs. Lazarus at your gate. There's a single Lazarus at your gate. There's a young Lazarus. At your gate. And all they need. Is a word. A rich word from rich people. Who are supposed to be rich. In the word of God. To set them free. Go get them. Before. It's too late. Why did you add this? Go get them. Go get them before it's too late because whatever our strength may be, we are under obligation to help weakness. You have strengthened the power of God, then you're obligated to help weakness. Not only that, are you obligated to help weakness? I am here to tell you it is our duty to help those who are in need because our strength here, the Bible says, will become our torment when you're rich and don't share it. That very thing that you're trying to hold on to and you don't help somebody else, it becomes your torment because I've got some news for you. You just can't get saved for you. And that's it. 
God saved you to help somebody else. I'm saved, I'm on there, going to heaven, and I'm so glad. But what about that somebody? What about the Lazarus at your gate? Who don't have what you have, and you don't want to share it with them. How many people this year, this year, have shared the riches of Jesus with somebody? You're talking about, oh, he's good, he's wonderful, he's the best thing that has ever happened to me. But how many of you have you shared it? You have to go get, get them before it's too late because there's a Lazarus at your gate. That's why Jesus goes on in verse 23. Jesus said, Jesus said in verse 23 in the King James Version, look what happened to Dives, the rich man, that would not share from his big old banquet table. He would not share with poor Lazarus. And so verse 23 says, and in hell he, Dives, lifted up his eyes, now being in torments. He's in hell now. And he sees Abraham Afar off. But he sees Lazarus in his bosom. And automatically he knew he was on the wrong side. Because he knew that Abraham was a man of faith. And he knew Abraham was going to the right place. But, but Lazarus is in his bosom and he's on the other side in torment and now he's saying oh God I should have helped I should have helped Lazarus but I, 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 I should have got him before it was too late but, but the Bible says in, in hell he lifted up his eyes could I tell you something? It's bad to live in the fire of remorse. It's bad to live an ill-used or wasted life. You've been blessed, but you didn't use it correctly. You've been blessed, but you wasted your life. The worst thing that can ever happen to somebody is looking back over a life of regrets. I don't even want to wake up in the morning and look back over yesterday and I got a life of regrets. I want my life to count for something. I want to maximize what God has given to me. I don't want to carry it to the grave. I believe what our assignment is, it's to help somebody. So listen to this. Why did Jesus, why did Jesus in this parable of the rich man and Lazarus give us the name of the beggar Lazarus? And not the name of the rich man. Now, now we, we should have imagined that it would have been the opposite. Because in the world that we live in, when one becomes rich in the eyes of men, you become somebody. Child, he's rich. But when a man is poor, for many people, that person is a nobody. He has no name that is known outside of his circle. So what you got to realize in life, in this cruel world that we live in, name recognition comes with being rich. Some people heard 
of Elon Musk. Some people heard of Bill Gates. Why? Because he's rich. And you, you know the name of some rich people. Some, some, some people, they are known. Some people are known for their power. How do people all over the world know a president of the United States? Because that president's got power. When you got power, people know your name. Some people, they, 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 they know your name because of your talent. You wouldn't know them. If they didn't have talent, you'd be saying, Beyonce who? <laughs> Taylor Swift, 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 who's that? But, but talent puts you in a different category. Looks can put you in a different category. Oh, you know Kim Kardashian ain't all of that, but she looks good. So social media, she's got millions and millions of followers. Just because she look good, can't act, can't do this or that. But, ooh, that Kim. No, not me. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just speaking. <laughs> but what I love about Jesus, Jesus was different because it was the common people with names unknown and undistinguished lives that Jesus gave his best welcome. Oh, Jesus knew well from his own experience about being poor and misunderstood and nobody. He was the king of the world. He was the savior of the world, but had no place to lay his head. Foxes have homes, birds have nests, but the Son of Man had nowhere to lay his head. I don't know about you, I'm so glad that Jesus was not just concerned about the rich. Oh, but I'm so glad that he found me. Oh, and picked me up and turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. I know some of you think you all of that, but you weren't all of that. You better thank God that Jesus found you right where you are. And he saved you. Because Jesus, Jesus said, I'm going to get him. I got to go get him. I got to go get those that have been rejected. I got to go get those who've been lied on. I got to go get those that nobody wanted. I got to get those that nobody cared about. That's the ones I want to go to. I got to go get them. Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I'm almost finished, but listen. Listen, people of God. He would give to their sore experience hope. Jesus would give to them a higher value and connect them with him. Listen, Jesus, by naming one and leaving the other nameless, wished to show that it was the character and not the condition of the two men that distinguished them. See, the rich man was just rich, but nothing else, just rich. And you see, he was called Dives, D-I-V-E-S. He was called 
Dives. And somebody said, well, Bishop, why you say you didn't have no name? Because the Latin word for dives just means rich. Uh -huh. Jesus didn't call him by a name. Dives just means rich. That, that's how people that you know and you know they're rich. That, 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 that's the name you just call. He's rich. She's rich. Some, some of y'all say, child, you better try to get a hold of him. He, shoo, he's rich. <laughs> the Latin word for dives means rich. It's just the name of a class of people. There's the rich. There's the poor. Jesus could have just had the name for the rich, and he could have had the name for the poor. But he said, I want to call the poor man's name. I want to call Lazarus' name. Because I want people to know from now on, from this parable, your assignment. Let's go get him. Let's, let's go get that Lazarus. Let's, let's go get him. You see, people of God, this applies to every rich man without distinction. That's why he didn't have a name. Because he was a rich man without distinction. What's the use of having riches but no distinction? Just rich. Rich man, did you help anybody? No distinction. Did, did, did you give the man that was begging at your gate? Did you give him a crumb? No distinction. And I come to sell somebody today being saved with no distinction is torment. Being saved with no distinction. I belong to greatest Saint Stephen, child. We had, ooh, child, we had some church today. And one thing you can say about Greater St. Stephen, in this ministry, we eat well. Like Dives, the table is set. Every time you come here, a banquet table is set. You ain't got to eat no junk. Some places you go, you got to eat junk, and you just have to settle for junk. But when you come here, I don't care if it's our pastor. I don't care if it's our first lady. I don't care if it's our mother overseer. And even me, you don't get no junk. But out of all the good food we get, on a Sunday, all the good food that we get on a Wednesday, what kind of distinction do we have? Do we go share it with somebody else or do we keep it to ourselves? So that's why I come today to give you this parable of Jesus. And when Jesus speaks, you got to pay attention. And I'm here to tell you greater, it is time. I'm here to tell you some of y'all can live in the twilight zone and the pandemic the rest of your life if you want. But the pandemic is over. Look at somebody, tell them the pandemic is over. You can stay by yourself, live by yourself, don't help nobody else. It's just about you, but it's time for you to get out of the twilight zone. Dun, 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 come on out, come on out. We got to come out and go get them because somebody needs to know who Jesus is. Somebody needs to know that he is the answer in this day in time I feel 
like creature in this place. God wants to deliver people. But the question is, are you like diabetes? Just eating it all for yourself. Don't have time for a Lazarus at your gate. So I don't care if somebody even gets upset with you tonight. Today, I just want you to touch them and touch them and just say, go get them, go get them, go get them. There's somebody who's lost out there. Go get them, go get them, go get them. There's somebody even in your home. Somebody even on your job. Go get them. Because I'm here to tell you, you don't want it to happen in hell. You lift up your eyes. You don't want to live with regrets. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. How many people have you passed by and you said shoulda, woulda, coulda? And I'm going to speak it into somebody's life today. I don't believe God brought us through a pandemic to just be like we were before the pandemic. If I could just help somebody as I pass along. If I could just cheer somebody with the word or with the song, I can just show somebody that they're traveling wrong. Then my living will not be in vain. Now don't wait till the battle is over. I need somebody Shout now Shout now Shout 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 You say anybody You say anybody Somebody's at your gate. You know, somebody's been waiting, looking for an answer. Somebody is just saying, I need an answer. I need some hope. And you've been feeding on the hope you have. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus. And his righteousness, I dare not trust the sweetest strain, but holy leaning on Jesus' name. Go get him and tell him on Christ, on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All of the ground is seeking sand. Anybody know it? Anybody know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. I'm glad about it, huh? I'm glad about it. I just need you to high five two people around you and say, let's go get them. Let, let's go get them. Huh? Let's go get them. Huh? I ain't going to keep it to, to myself. Let's go. 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 Ah, let's go. God 
has called us. He's been good to us. We eat at the spiritual table sumptuously. But if you don't want to share it with somebody, you'll find yourself in torment when you should have, could have, would have. I want you to sit down a moment because this is one of my old songs when I, when I came to Greater St. Stephen. Because I've always had a passion for souls. This is a song I, I used to sing. I've got to sing it more. Hallelujah. If I can help somebody as I pass along. If I can cheer somebody with the word or just a song, if I can show somebody. That they're traveling wrong. Then my living shall not be in vain. Then my living. Take your places right now. Even in house, those that are watching virtually. We got to go get them. You're not in this alone. You're not a nameless person. 
God loves you. You'll be a part of a chosen generation. Send a man, send a woman, send a boy, send a girl. This is your chance right now. You have the gate. And the gate is open. And Jesus said, whosoever will, let him come. Let him come. So send a man, send a woman, send a boy, send a girl. Don't let this moment pass you by. You know what you need and you know you need him now. Somebody may have even walked out on you. It don't even matter. You're going to have Jesus today. Maybe you just lost your job, but God's getting ready to replace because you're going to try Jesus today. He's standing at the gate and he's saying, let's go get him. Secondly, you're looking for a church home and the spirit of the Lord is speaking to you to be a part of this ministry. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to work. This is the place I want to call home on my way to my heavenly home. We welcome you today. Thirdly, if there's a backslider, you straight away because it looked like nobody cared. Nobody wanted to talk. Nobody wanted to hear what I was going through. But you're in the right place today. You're watching the right virtual stream today. You can return back to God. The Bible said he's married to the backslider. Because he's married to the backslider, he refuses to give you a divorce. He still loves you. Fourthly, you want to come today under watch care. My pastor is not in the city. My church is not in the city. But I need somebody to watch over my soul. We got a pastor, great pastor, anointed pastor that will feed you from the Lord's table. And a woman of God that stands right by his side, our first lady, and of course, overseer Deborah B. Morton and myself. And our church family will be there for you. You're getting ready to come into a family. Some people just belong to a church, but at Greater St. Stephen, you belong to a family. Because we are here for you, and we are here for you today. We are here for you today. We are here for you today. Finally, if you're seeking the fullness of his Holy Spirit, the Lord will give to you the desire of your heart. Oh, more of him and less of you. With his power, with his faith, with his truth, you're going to eat like you never ate before spiritually and the blessings are going to be on your life. I want you to touch somebody's shoulder right now. And just as you're touching that shoulder, just... Just look around you and say, let's go get them. Let's go get them. Even if, if you're watching by streaming, you, you, you know somebody. Just say, let's go get them. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. And I want you to put it in the chat. Somebody you're reaching out to right now because a change is about to take place in your life and in somebody else's life. We believe it in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, right now. Decisions that are being made, we speak it in the name of Jesus. When this prayer is over, that they will get up by faith. Know that this is going to be a new season in their lives because today they're at the right gate. A gate that the Lord has assigned, assigned to greater St. Stephen at this greater St. Stephen gate of the Lord. Lives are going to be changed and people are going to be delivered. It's already done. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Now here's what I want you to do. You got to go get them now. You got to look at them straight in the eye. If you're going to go get them, look at them and ask them, do you need to make a decision for Jesus today? Wait for their response. Wait for their response. You can tell them, I'll even walk to this altar with you. Or you can get up and walk to this altar by yourself. But today is your day for change. Now wherever you are, greater, let's clap as they come. And believing God is going to change it. Come on, come on. I see you coming to overflow. That's it. Come on. And because of where he's and because of what he's done, you can start all over again. Let's say that again. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. 
is so important I thank God he's been good to me and because I've been eating spiritual food for so long I'm rich in the spirit you know the problem with diabetes he wouldn't go out and try to get that poor man that man that had a need that's all he needed was somebody to take him by the hand I'm here to tell you today, you got a lot of rich spiritual people around you. And some of you know you need to be at this altar right now because a change, God wants to make a change in your life right now. Listen, if you need somebody to walk with you, and I'll walk with you with my rich spiritual self. I want to let you know that God's about to turn it around. And let's, let's, let's just speak it because the anointing destroys every yoke. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of fear. We bind the spirit of doubt. I pray right now that you would release those in this place. Devil, you can't hold them in their seat. The power of God is too real. Oh God, I speak release. I need somebody to put it in the atmosphere. Just say release, release, release. It's already done. Now where are you? Where are you? I see you, my brother. Come on, where are you? Come on, 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 come on. I see you from the overflow. That's it. Come on. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. It don't it matter. matter. I don't care what you've done. It doesn't matter. I don't care where start you've been. You're getting ready to start all over. Getting ready to start all over. It doesn't matter. Getting ready to start all over. It doesn't matter. I just feel the power of God in this place. Somebody lift your hands and say it doesn't matter. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Let's go. Some fire up in this house today. Can you clap your hands for Bishop right now? Come on. For doing the work of an evangelist. I mean, make some noise. There is the Holy Ghost is walking all it up and down the aisle. Go and get him. Woo! Good God Almighty. Yeah, that's right, brother. That brother filled with the Holy Ghost right here. Woo! Yeah, Moshanda, yeah. Yes, sir, you're in the kingdom. Listen. Woo! Moshanda, yeah. Glory to God. Somebody will stand up and say, It's on me. It's on me. I'm getting ready to go get somebody. It's on me. I'm rich. Honey, it doesn't matter. a message 
These young men at the altar cry. There's a message in the message. Because he's touching you to go get him. But there's another message. It doesn't matter where you've been. You are experiencing a new start. I clap your I said, it doesn't matter. I know I got some witnesses. What we've done, starting all over again. You know, this is too much. I want you to bow your head. I'm so full. When the Lord walks in a house, if you don't know he's here, you need to be at the altar and start all over again because he is here. Touch three people and say he's in the house. By your heads. Yes, brother. Father in Jesus' name. Good God Almighty. I thank you today. When it looked like our men were lost forever. You're turning it around. You're bringing them to the altar. Along with the women of God. God, you promised us. If we call on your name. You'd save our husband. Save our children. Our son. Save our grandbabies. And you're doing it right now. We give you the glory and the praise. That this not play church, but they'll never be the same. Oh God, their circles, they will begin to impact them. They will begin to bring them from the highways and the byways into the house of the Lord to say, try him because I did. And he changed my life. Save him, sanctify him. Fill him with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Lord, let him never be the same. We thank you today. We give you glory today that you're the same saved us and you're saving them. Clap your hands and shout the victory. Come on, shout like it's a football game. Shout like it's a saints game. Cause God is bringing the saints in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eleven souls. Come on and rejoice. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm so glad I can to just give God the praise in this place. Woo! Hallelujah. Let's go get them, y'all. Let's go get them, y'all. Let's go get them, y'all. Let's go get them. To God be the glory. Let's go get them. What a powerful word. Can we thank the Lord? Put your hands together for the word of God on today. And can we thank God for the vessel he used? Put your hands together for overseer Bishop Paul S. Morton. My God, what power, what anointing, what a blessing to God be the glory. Saints of God, it's go time. It's go time. Let's go get them. Get your plans together. It's go time. Come out and join the Balm and Gilead Greater Health and Wellness Ministry in a nature and health walk at Joe Brown Park on Saturday, April 20th at 9 a.m. And we're calling all songwriters, singers, and musicians. Come join us at the GSS Music Workshop, Tuesday, May 7th at 7 p.m. here at Greater St. Stephen. Special guest lecturer is our own elder, Derek Starks. It's free and it's open to the public. The elevation celebration of our pastor, Bishop-elect T. Delbert Robinson, is going to be celebrated in a luncheon and is set for Friday, July 12th 
2024. The attire is semi-formal. Purchase your ticket today in Morton Hall or in the main lobby. An on-site registration is now available for the 2024 Live Full Conference. Please see a representative in the lobby. Registration will increase on May 1st, so get it registered now. And finally, just a friendly reminder, please respect our neighboring businesses in their parking lots by parking in our parking lots behind the sanctuary or across the street. Do keep that in mind and may God keep you. At this time, let us stand and show our neighbors some love for we know here at Greater St. Stephen, it is a place of love. Let's hold our love for a moment. Our overseers, Bishop Paul Morton and Pastor Deborah B, will be right here in front of the pulpit to shake hands with our visitors first. So please come by and greet our leaders. At this time, let us have a word of prayer. Father God, we come now to thank you for your precious visitation on today. We thank you for your power, for your anointing, oh God, to transform our lives. We pray now as we leave this place, but not from your presence, that you will keep us safe and Lord, bring us back at the appointed time. It is in the matchless name of Jesus we pray and we all say, Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. And greater, we have a lot of first-time visitors, and would you please give them a chance uh, to come and share with us first? And you do know, well, I'll be here Wednesday night, and I, I'm going to shake your hand. That's family time Wednesday. You can shake our hands on a Wednesday. Isn't that a blessing? But we want to shake our person. Thank you for worshiping with us, Pastor Rob, Lady J, and the overseers, Bishop and Pastor D. Pray you continue to connect with Greater. Every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Time for Word Explosion, or Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m. Central Time for the Sunday morning worship experience. Here are all the ways you can donate and support the Greater Vision. The church website at houseofgreater.org, Click the giving tab. Text to give at 504-517-8071. Text any dollar amount to give this way. Give LaFi. Search Greater St. Stephen Full Gospel Baptist Church. Cash app, dollar sign G-S-S-M-I-N. Include full name and category in the memo. Zell, giving at G-S-S-M-I-N.org. Include your full name and category in the memo. Tithes and offerings can also be mailed to P.O. Box 872798, New Orleans, Louisiana 70187. Stay connected. Text GSS to 504-276-7021 or visit houseofgreater.org for more info.